Hey all, uh, I'm just out in the backyard here. This is my Reptile 500. Uh, it's actually my, C, my uh, CX20 or my, my Quantum Nova uh, converted into this Reptile 500 frame. All the electronics are from the Quantum Nova. Uh, I'm just going to give it a try and see how it goes. My expectations of this, I think it's going to be far too heavy only because the Nova runs a three cell battery only and I think a four cell would be quite ideal for it. Um, I've got hooked up a 4000 milliamp multi-star Hobby King battery, a DJI carbon fiber props on it and basically the rest of it is uh, just Quantum Nova. So I'll try it with this with the legs on it. I'm gonna, if it's um, as expected I, I think it's going to struggle uh, then I'll try it without the legs on it and see if it makes a difference um, if not I'm going to look at um, replacing the ESCs and upgrading the whole system to four cells at least four cells anyway and get it flying really well so I'm just going to run the stock transmitter it came with the Nova I'll set up a, um, a little 1000 milliamp pack for the back so I don't have to fiddle with with um, pencil batteries so the craft has got GPS lock now its green light is solid so it's got at least six satellites so we'll see how she see how she hovers hovers so all I'm going to do is just hover this in the one spot and just see how it goes Let's try it again. So yeah, basically it's it is too heavy for a three-cell system that it has the CX20 and Quantum Novas bring out. Um, I mean the I only had it in manual mode, so there was no GPS lock, which was why it was being blown around. So there's a fair bit of wind at the moment out in the backyard here, so it was a little bit tricky. It liked to yaw quite a bit, quite suddenly. Had to counteract that pretty quick and I found just a hover I was using three-quarter throttle so that's no good so yeah it's interesting to see how it goes the ESC's just in that little bit of time aren't hot or nothing nothing's nothing's at all very is, is at all even got any temperature to it so it flies but it's too heavy so I'll take these off and we'll give it another test and just see if it helps it a little bit but I think what I'm going to do is replace the ESCs with some uh, maybe 40 amp 30 40 amp uh, that can handle four cell battery I'm not sure about the PDB the power distribution board here that stock whether that can handle the extra voltage I guess we'll just find out it is what it is this craft it's going to be a bit of a Frankenstein but better than sitting collecting dust and the motors will just keep them until I don't know they might handle four cell I don't know probably die in it but I can always upgrade the motor as well 
So in that short little bit of a hover, my battery was full. Um, it did burn through a bit of battery power actually. It's sitting 3.94, 3.98 and 4 volts on each cell. So it went down a bit just in a standard hover like that. What I did notice, when it came down at the end there and it landed, I didn't land that. That, was, that seemed to have lost power. So I guess that's just due to the weight. I'd imagine. Let's get these legs off and we'll charge the battery back up again and see how that goes. So all right I got the legs all off. I don't think this is going to make much difference. The legs didn't actually weigh a real lot anyway. They were fairly light so this is where the weight is. So I don't expect to be any different here with the standard setup on the Nova. On a Reptile 500 frame as soon as that green light stops flashing we will have another check it shouldn't take long it's just searching for satellites when it goes solid uh, we're ready to fly all right we're all ready to go let's give it another shot to see what happens I'm just keeping this in manual mode so there's no there's no GPS stabilization either uh, the wind's still quite vicious around here so it's not it's gonna be a bit of a challenge this we'll see how we go if I've got to drop it I'll drop it So that, that's substantially better, surprisingly. I don't know whether the um, legs on it were creating it to be a little bit uh, more unstable, but that was a lot more stable. It's, it's still using just over half throttle to um, stay in a hover, but it does feel a lot better in the air. So I might give it another try and I'll put it in um, stabilized mode just to see how solid it is and if it can handle it. Certainly isn't the day to be doing this really, but I've got nothing else to do. So there we go, that was definitely better without the legs. But um worried me there when the when the low battery voltage alarm started it for some reason started going up, so I don't know if it was doing a return to home or, or what it was doing there. I had to take over manually again and um, bring it down during the wind. That was it was a bit of a handful with this wind. I mean the the uh, PIDs, all the tuning side is still set to how I had it set in the old frame, so it's twitchy, it, it likes to yaw, 
um, but it does fly. I think what I'll do next is um, take it to a wider field and take it for a, a bit more of a longer flight and just see what sort of flight times I can get and yeah whether it even stays in the air <laughs> so it might even brown out or I don't, I don't know we'll find out I, I don't mind it it's it's fine like this at this stage until I upgrade the ESCs and motors but I prefer the legs on it but I think it does until it's tuned it does affect the um, stability of it stabilization mode then was wasn't really that stable I had to correct it quite a bit um, but it did work. I mean, it is windy. It's um, certainly not not still. So we'll test it in a better day. We'll we'll charge it all up again. We'll take it to a field and we'll test it and see what sort of flight times and how well it actually does fly in in better conditions. So until then, um, yeah, we'll see you in the next video, I guess.